How to trace precedence and dependence on an Excel formula. Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to display the tra and trace the precedence and trace the dependence on a formula. In the worksheet shown here, I have a formula in cell K6. This formula is a simple counting formula and it's based on data retrieved from the student records on the left hand side of the worksheet. So if I want to see displayed where the data is coming from that's producing the results of this formula, the first thing I have to do is make sure that I'm selected. I've selected that cell. I'm clicked in this cell. And then in the ribbon at the top, I click the formulas tab. And then over here in the formula auditing group, I click trace precedence. A blue arrow appears showing data and where it's coming from coming into the formula. So obviously this is coming from a, an area of way off to the left hand side. So I'm going to scroll the screen over to the left and see where it's coming from. It's coming from column A, student identification numbers, and it looks as if it's being drawn just from cell A2, but the, in reality it's drawing data from the entire column. If you notice there's a blue borderline running down column A and if I scroll the page up that blue borderline goes all the way down and extends to the entire column. So this is instead of indicating a single cell this is actually indicating an entire column that the data is being brought in from. Now, if I want to find out where this formula might be going to, if there's anything drawing data from this formula, I can also click Trace Dependence. And it looks like data from this formula is being drawn into two other cells, cell L8, or rather L10 and L13. So that's all this is, it's just tracing dependence and tracing precedence just shows you where the data is being pulled from, coming into a formula, and where it's going to when it's leaving the formula. If I want, I can remove the arrows by clicking this button here underneath, Remove Arrows. Now, if I click into cell eight, uh, L10, there's another formula in here. So if I want to trace precedence and dependence in this formula, I can click Trace precedence. And it's showing me that data from this cell is coming into this formula. And if I click trace dependence, I get a message telling me that there, there is no formula referring to the active cell. In other words, there are no dependents. So nothing is leaving this cell going anywhere else. So I can click OK to remove that message. And again, I can just remove the arrows whenever I want.